Hey, hi everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I am a solution architect. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Hi everyone. So today's video, we will see how to create data wars table using Copilot. This is a preview feature that is announced by the Microsoft. Okay. So this blog I have written in the short. Okay. You can go read this blog. Okay. And we will see this practically as well. Okay. So this is the link to go and see the official. So improve copilot response from Microsoft data world. This is recently updated. You can be see. So let's we go to the power app and see how to create data world table by using our new feature. Okay. So I mean make dot power apps in the left hand side. We have the table. Okay. So you can pin this to create the table. Okay. So it is already pin in my case. Just click on the new table. Here is you can be see three options. Create new table preview set advanced properties create a virtual table okay so this is our old one set advanced property you can be see in this way we will create our previous table okay but now we have this new feature create new table in preview so whenever you launch this feature okay this type of interface you will get okay start with copilot import a sharepoint list export an excel file or csv start from blank okay so these are all the options we have okay and in the top you can be see we have described a new table add column and data excel csv okay and here we have copilot logo so you can click on that and there is you will get copilot okay so let's we start and create a table okay so if you not know how to give the prompt there is option view prompt okay you can click on the suggest okay and here is given the suggest a relationship to create okay there is option also to import the prompt. Okay. So here I given the prompt. Okay. Create a table for employee details and just click on the send. Okay. So it is working on it. Let's see what response we will get here. Okay. So it is working. I am not cutting video here. So you will get exact idea how much time it is taking. Okay. So you can be see employee details table is created. Okay. So let's I add here. Okay. Create leave so here i given the prompt creator department table okay and I, I click on the send so it is working on it let's see what output we will get so you can be see we are get two columns here okay employee okay and department is one to many to one relationship okay so this column is table we not needed okay let's i click and click on the delete so you can see it is very easy to create a table. So I add here one. So here I give on the prompt add email column in employee table and let's click on the enter here simply. So it is adding email column. You can be see we have now email column here. Okay. So simply you can click on the save and exit. Your column will create automatically. Yeah. Save and exit. So in this way you can create your data was stable by using an copilot feature this is excellent feature i recommend you to use this feature thank you friends have a nice day to you keep learning keep growing keep exploring